we are talking about online shopping like it's my job okay let me grab my notes oh sorry sorry hello you want to come say hello yeah somebody's turning two tomorrow yeah that's somebody's you okay there you are scrolling on your phone about to you thought you were going to be innocently just browsing on Instagram, but somehow you landed up on a website. And now you're shopping for something you didn't know you needed. And you are just about to click pay when out of nowhere, your future self, or perhaps even your bank account was like, hold up, this is not happening. That's when you realize you needed to online shop better. You needed a more realistic life hack. You needed something to actually help you. And that's where I come in. Everyone, I am Celestia Rex and I talk about everything related to economics, pop culture, daily issues and more through the lens of economic science. I realize I said economics in the beginning. Well, economics and data. There we go. That's the lens we operate through. And yeah, if you're interested in any of those things, please stick around. I post a video every week and sometimes two. And yeah, let's get into it. So first things first. Shopping is a lot less of retail therapy and a lot more like targeted hunting. You need to be on your guard and searching with an intense focus. Do you think finding the best pair of boots at the best price at like the ultimate thing that you're going to wear for like the next seven years comes easy? Well, you're wrong, friend. You need to focus. You need to hone in. On the internet or in stores, there are countless options. There is a sea full of people and shoes and things for you to fall in love with. But in order to find the one that you are supposed to fall in love with, you need to be focused. Be aware. Constant awareness. That was a lot. But yeah, constant awareness is what you're going for right here, okay? None of this crazy. I'm just gonna chill. No, you are shopping, which means you are technically hunting for the perfect thing, okay? Focus, people. Focus. That is number one. Okay, so first things first, you identify your target. So now that you know what you are shopping for, we can go forward. Secondly, you're going to make use of deals. And when I say make use of deals, I don't mean buy the cheapest thing on offer, because sometimes that's not ideal and those things can break. What you're going to do is you're going to harness the fact that you know, just as well as I do, that every five minutes there is somewhere on the sale. All online websites are forever giving you like, if you sign up to our mailing list, you get this 100 rand off your first order, or 10% or whatever other nonsense, or you get like free delivery over a certain amount, or they'll have this some other kind of situation, or they've got all those cash back websites and things going on every five seconds. And if you belong to a credit card company or you're shopping with your credit card, hello mm -hmm. patches. If you're shopping with your credit card, they usually have specific outlets that they partner with and then those places give you like rewards for shopping with those stores. Um, a good example of this is in South Africa, F&B has ebooks, and if you shop with like Superbalist, Old Khaki, Poetry, um, Take a Lot, what else? Uh, Arthur Kaplan, Ned Florist, you get uh, points which you can use to buy other things. So it's important to keep that in mind. Next thing is this, you're going to want to research like crazy. Shopping should not be a two minute experience. You need to go online and really think and review. You need to read reviews, see what other people are saying, find out if you're interested in trends or fashion. Now is a great time to really get into your Pinterest boards. Alternatively, just go online and see what do people think of this product. Don't go and make the mistake of buying a phone because somebody was like, this is a good phone, and then you realize it doesn't work. 
Well, it doesn't work for what you need. I mean, it works like it's going to make basic holes, but it doesn't do anything else with what you want. So, yeah, really effective research and understanding what you are actually looking for. It should take time, not an overnight decision. You're looking at a couple of weeks here, okay? Very important. Up next, you need to make a list of desired goods. This should be a constant list. Think of it as your master wish list. Like, you know, when you were younger and you used to look up to the sky and be all like, please, 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 make me a millionaire. Or whatever it is that you were wishing for when you were 12. I think I wanted to be a princess. But anyway, whatever you were, you used to like wish for something. Now, you're going to wish again. But this time you're making a very targeted list of desired goods. So you're saying, I want to buy a pair of sneakers, or I want a bag to go traveling with, or I want a new phone, or I want a new laptop, or whatever it is, I don't know what you shop for. You write it all down. You keep it in a spreadsheet and not on a paper because you need to edit it, okay? And then, even if it's mundane things that you don't like, well not like groceries, but like, I mean like, things like underwear and stuff, that you're not really excited about buying, but you have to buy. Um, you write all those things down and you look at them. So when you have decided you want to buy something or go shopping, you already have a list. Then, now that you have your master list, you then go and find things online that match those master lists and it puts the links to them in the list of that spreadsheet. Okay? So now, see. And then you rank them according to importance. You can't travel anywhere right now, so buying travel related goods is not exactly optimal. I don't know, maybe they've got good specials, but like catching flights, not feelings, is not happening right now. So instead, you buy things that you will actually use right now. Like in South Africa, we're about halfway through autumn and we're almost ready for winter. So we are getting ready to buy boots and blankets, etc. So that's what it looks like here. But if you're in another country and you're shopping for like about to go into summer you're probably getting ready to or have already started purchasing shorts and swimwear etc so think about what you're actually going to use over the next couple months okay then remember shopping you are not trying to maximize the amount you're getting you're trying to maximize the stuff that you're going to use forever okay the famous saying is buy less but buy better I prefer to think of it as just buy less stuff because the way you can move anywhere you want or live anywhere you want okay um, so just <coughs> really research thoroughly you can find a lot on secondhand sites um, and also, it's important to like practice this whole thing of uh, wish lists and self-denial, I suppose, to a certain extent. Just because that way you can ensure that you are being truly focused on what it is that you really want or need. And that you are not going overboard and buying things that are unnecessary for you, harming the environment. And in some cases are also harming the workers and the general Life. the general life on the planet. Okay. You need to learn to look for gems. Occasionally, you will go online and see something either on a second-hand website, on Facebook Marketplace, or even on a generic store, and you will see something that is perhaps marked down, or maybe it's at full price, but it looks, but it's like something that speaks to your soul. It is an undiscovered gem. It's like me in sequence. I can't explain it, but I love it. Okay? You know the things that you love regardless of what anybody says. Regardless of whether or not they're in fashion, in season, whatever. You just, you love them. You think they're awesome. You wear it every day if you could. 
That's how you feel about it. Prioritize those things when shopping. Because there's no point in having 57 black turtlenecks in your cupboard if you never want to wear black turtlenecks. Okay, it doesn't matter how much of a staple they supposedly are. I don't like turtlenecks, so that's why I'm hating on them. But you can hate on whatever thing you want, okay? You pick a piece of clothing that you don't like and you never buy it. I don't like mom jeans either, so you stick that there as well, okay? Find the things you love, buy those. Find the things you hate, in terms of clothing, obviously, and don't buy those, okay? The next tip, and this is probably the most important one, shopping is a continuous process. But in creating your ideal wardrobe, you will probably, I don't know if I should recommend the capsule wardrobe thingies on Pinterest, because they're always like white and blue and gray. And like, yes, solid colors are good because they go with everything, but if you're like, me and like sequins, or if you're like some of the other YouTubers I've seen who like prints, I don't know, or like loud, garish colors, then maybe that's not for you. Really think about what it is you like, what it is you're interested in, and vibe with those things. Invest in those things. Because that's what's going to make you happy. Think about your lifestyle. What kind of clothes do you actually wear? All those things should be factored in while shopping. Like, if you know that you mainly stay home, you don't need 10 million pairs of heels. Unless you're a person who wears heels at home. Then I don't understand you, but you can explain it to me, I suppose. It's, it's just a unique thing. So find what works for you. Um, yeah, so remember, prioritize, okay? It's not dead. Oh, driving me up the wall. Okay. <laughs> but overall, I hope I have impressed upon you that online shopping, or rather shopping in general, should not just be a casual pursuit destined for those who are tr stuck within some weird um, phase where they're extremely addicted to shopping. Online shopping is actually like, it's a very serious thing, okay? Like, take it seriously. Shopping in general, it, it's a lot of fun, but do focus. Like, there is a lot of effort put into finding the things that you want, practicing, trying to ensure that you get the best deals, buying the best things going forwards, and that you're keeping a list, running a list, and prioritizing that list. Those are all essential elements. Like, don't just run into it and think that you're going to find the best stuff just by randomly clicking on something. No. Focus. Approach it with precision. That is what leads to the best results and ultimately the favorite things hanging in your wardrobe. Okay? Cool. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye.